What's up, Dallas, Texas? Wow! Greatest athletes in the world to my right and to my left. I'm John Anik. Thank you all for being with us. This is as good a host city as we have here in the United States of America. Thank you all for making your presence felt here during Fight Week, and we are just getting started for what is the biggest, baddest pay-per-view of the year to date. UFC 211, Miacic versus Dos Santos, two, two title fights, including the heavyweight rematch between the champion, Stipe Miacic, and the former champ, Junior Dos Santos. So Saturday night, five former or current UFC champions. We are sold out in this American Airlines Center. Also happy to announce at this time, Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. This is a new series that will debut Tuesday, July 11th, the Tuesday after International Fight Week. It's a new series featuring five live fights each episode. It'll feature up and coming talent, as well as athletes looking to revive their careers. The fights will all take place at the Ultimate Fighter Gym in Las Vegas. They will air exclusively on UFC Fight Pass Live, and the fights will be regulated by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Of course, as you see this assembly of fine athletes, we are here today for the summer kickoff, so we've got 10 total events in six countries. It starts May 28th in Stockholm, Sweden. All leads up to July 29th in Anaheim, California, the monster that is UFC 214, Cormier versus Jones. Two. So you're getting at least four world title fights. And of course, UFC International Fight Week, July 5th through the 8th in Las Vegas. Join us for that annual event where fans and fighters become one. All right, with that backdrop, we are now ready to accept questions from the fine members of the media here today. Fire away. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I think everybody wants to hear from Johnny Bones Jones, it sounds like. John, a, a collection of stars behind you, but I think it's obvious the biggest pop is for this fight. Give us the emotion that you're feeling now that this is finally here after everything that's happened, what it means to you to finally have this fight, and what guarantees you can make that the fight's still gonna happen. Yes. Dallas, how's you guys doing? How you guys doing? What's up? What's up? I am so happy to be back. Um, I haven't spent much time in Texas, so I'm glad to be here. It's been a great experience so far. Um, glad to be here. Glad to be in, back in front of a UFC audience. Um, have, have had a lot of time away from the sport, a lot of time to uh, reflect on, you know, how much this MMA career means to me, and I've made up my mind that this means a lot to me. And uh, I cannot wait to get back everything that I lost. I'm so excited to be back here and, and uh, fighting against DC, uh, one of my biggest rivals. And uh, expect fireworks. This is going to be a great fight. I, just a second ago, we almost went at it back uh, behind the curtain. So I got a feeling just the lead up to this fight, and, uh, and it's just going to be a great fight. I got to ask you, John, talk about getting back what you lost. I mean, the belt's sitting on the other side of the stage over there. I think a lot of people are looking at DC to justify the fact that he's a champion. You've had to take some ownership for what's happened over the years. When you look at DC, do you, is he a legitimate champion? Is that the real belt over there? Fuck no. He never beat me. He never beat me. So the belt that he has over there, it's an imaginary belt. I messed up outside of the octagon. I got that taken away from me. But the guy's never beaten me. In order to be the champion, you have to beat the champion. He can fight all the other light heavyweights that he wants. He can beat every light heavyweight. Until he beats me, that belt over there is uh, it's a piece of shit. Daniel, obviously, we want to give you a chance to respond to that. Uh, maybe you could give us a little insight into what happened backstage they touched on, and talk about how you're feeling now that you know that you'll have him again this summer. You know what happened behind the stage? He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch ass. The guy that had you crying. Hey, Who was the bitch backstage? Hey, he's a bitch you're hugging Cain Velasquez, crying hey. on his shoulder. I'm the bitch. Hey. He's a bitch, and he okay. said something about my kids, so I smacked yeah, him in the I face did. with a water bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah, you threw bitch a water ass bottle. Nigga. Yeah, you threw a water bottle. Yeah. You know what you are. Now you call me ass. Bum. Let me tell you what happened. Real cool. He said, hey, he, he just said he's back, right? But is he back? 
Doesn't he have two more hey. months of suspension? Yeah, exactly. Is he back? You better Is love he those back? two months, Daniel. You got you got 11 weeks to be the. Are junkie. you back, you junkie? Got, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. This junkie had you crying. You're a knob. Junkie whooped your ass, Daniel Cormier. You're a junkie. Get Am out I of back? Here. Am I back? There's 11 weeks. Yeah, I'm You've back. You've got two okay. more months before you're yeah. actually back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You better love these next two months, Daniel, which I'm sure you do. Love these next two months. Hey, I love, I love my life. What photos I'm you. good. Make Christmas I'm cards. I'm good. Make Christmas cards. I'm good. Make Christmas cards now because the belt's going to be gone, Daniel. Let's see it. Gonna be You're gonna have to show me. I already did. You're gonna have to show me. I already did. You know what's the beauty in me being the competitor I am? I forgot about that. I'm about to whip your punk ass. Oh, you forgot about it. I'm gonna beat your punk ass. Did you, but did you guys forget? I'm gonna beat your punk you ass. Forget? Stop looking for, does, stop does looking the, for them the to record, save you. Did the record they can't save you. Does that one of <laughs> the record forget? Hey, could you guys please help him out? Did he? Uh, shut up. Did I what? Uh, I do what? I didn't even hear that one. Good one. Okay, All right, you guys, guys justify what I'm saying? Good one, Get out of here. Good I'm one, assuming uh, there will be a few more questions coming your way in just a second. So I want to get to some other people. Chris Weidman. I know you wanted the fight in Long Island. I know that means a lot to you. But I got to ask you, not getting the rematch with Gay Guard Mustasi. Um, talk about that. Is there any disappointment? Do you feel like maybe he owed that to you? Yeah, I wanted that rematch with Gegard, but apparently he didn't sign yet. So uh, I was asked to fight Gaslam. It's in my hometown. Obviously, New York is a tough spot for me to fight after that last one. We're under appeal right now, but I can't say no main event, Nassau Coliseum. That's a dream come true. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome fight against a game opponent. Thanks, Chris. And I want to get the other side of that, Kelvin. Uh, kind of an interesting couple of months for you. Can you just talk about how you're feeling at this time to be back? Maybe a little bit of frustration, a little bit of embarrassment. Um, and talk about how you're feeling about Anderson Silva. I mean, the, the, him like, not choosing to take this fight, I guess, and kind of the way things went. Is that still a fight you won? And I mean, did you, did you lose any respect maybe for Anderson Silva? No, not at all. Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks to Dallas. I got a lot of, you guys are awesome. Love it, Viva Mexico. And um, I love Dallas. I fought here at 171 versus Rick Story. You guys were awesome. So thank you guys for being here. Um, but these last few weeks have been pretty interesting, you know? I, I, uh, I had to fight back to get back here, and um, it's been a headache. It's been a headache to get back to where I am now, but now I'm here I'm fighting um, Weidman. You know, I, I couldn't pass up this opportunity to fight in the main event against a great opponent like, like Weidman. So I'm pretty happy about the matchup. I hope you guys are, well, are as well. Uh Daniel, you've said in the past that this rivalry with John kind of brings out the worst in you, something that you don't particularly like. Are you at all worried about that, or are you just embracing this experience again? I, I didn't understand what you said. I'm sorry. Sorry, you've said in the past that uh, this rivalry with John brings something out of you that you don't particularly like. Uh, are you worried about that, or do you have to kind of lean into that? Nah, you know, man, I, uh, before I might have worried about it, but it just makes me realize, you know, I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana, you know, so I can let that side out of me a little bit. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's go. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. What does where you're from have to do with any of that? That you think you that you think you're messing with button up fox guy, but there's a whole nother side to me, young man. Trust me. Where was that side last time we fought? You're gonna well, hey, you keep you keep playing around up here and you'll see that side in the streets of Dallas, Texas. Oh my god, I'm so scared. And then, you, I am so don't be, scared. Though. Don't be. You're good. I'm well, so scared. Okay. Um, and then a question for Kevin Lee. Kevin, you look great up there. Uh, how much are you loving this moment and just this opportunity to be, you know, part of something like this? Uh, you know, this is what I do. You know, we grow up. Uh, you know, we talk shit. We get into fights. So I love this shit. I love doing the media. Uh, I love just being up here. You know, uh, it, and I'm rocking this. It looked better than a mullet. So I figured I'd go ahead and pull it off. So. You know, I already got like people hitting me up on Twitter and blah, 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 saying I'm trying to be like Connor, man. Fuck Connor. I ain't trying to be like none of that. He, if anything, he's trying to be like me. You see all his stuff, and you know, he, he, he's trying to take from our culture, from hood culture, from, uh, from hip hop culture. Uh, if anything, it ain't nothing better than being young, black, and rich, so I'm going to keep it going. Uh, you know, these dudes, they put on a hard face for the picture, uh, you know, smoke a little bit of weed, hang out with some rappers, uh, you know, and, and want to be hood. But uh, I spent 20 years of my life in that bitch, and I ain't going back. So, 
you know, I, I, I feel like real recognize real, and uh, I see the fake in them. So don't ever compare me to them. It ain't nothing better. Question for John over here. Hey, John. A couple things. Are you, are you able to confirm, are you the main event for uh, July 29th? I can't hear you. Sorry, are, are you the main event on July 29th? I, I, I think that's still undetermined. No! Can you see any scenario in which this fight isn't the main event? I don't really see what would be a bigger fight over Daniel and I, um, but you know, if, if Daniel wants to stick to his gun and make me a co-main event to prove a point, then I mean, I, ultimately I think he'll end up losing more money doing that, but. It, no, no matter if I'm co-main event or main event, uh, Daniel's getting his ass whooped. The belt's coming home with me, so. Daniel, do you know if you are the main event? Nah, they haven't told me. You know, I just said, uh, they said, do you want to fight Jimmy Manoa or John Jones? I said, John Jones, get it done July 29th. I don't care where we fight. Let's go. Thank you for that. Maybe John Anik knows if they're the main event. To be determined, Dana White will have that answer for you. Sometime. Okay. And not to put you on the spot, John, but do you have any update on uh, Garbrandt and Dillashaw? I don't. I, as far as I was told before getting up here, scheduling conflict for C Cody Garbrandt. I know he's tweeted something, but yeah. yeah, no update for you at this time. Okay. And then just back to uh, John for a second. Did you consider taking a fight against someone else? There were a couple of options laid out. Did you consider a quote-unquote tune-up fight, or did you want to go straight back for the belt? No, I, I believe uh, either you have it or you don't. And throughout my whole career, I've had it. So um, I'm going to fucking... <laughs> Go get what's mine. So there, there was no other option. There's fighting Daniel for the title, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. And just a quick one for Justin Gaethje. Uh, what is it like for someone who was fighting in World Series of Fighting four months ago to be sitting up here, and you're about to main event the show in Las Vegas against one of the top fighters in the world? I mean, what is going through your mind at this moment? Oh, too much. Too much is going through this head right now. This, this energy in this room right now is phenomenal, though. I know that. Um, Hey, I perform under the big lights, so July 7th, Michael uh, is gonna oblige my wish to uh, come in there and give me a war, so that's, that's all I gotta say right now. Once I get to fight, then I'll have more to say. Listen, Justin, you had, you had wars in World Series, but when you come over to the UFC, you won't have a war with me, man, so it's all right. We're, we're gonna bang, don't get it wrong, but you're out of your league on this one, buddy. He, he's right. If I, if I wasn't a Division I All-American, if... This isn't wrestling. If I couldn't kick your leg off, if I couldn't break you in any, any way, you can be a D1 every way, you want to. I ain't here to talk shit. Hey, I, I do my talking in the cage. That's all I care about. Uh, I'm preparing right now, and I'm a violent motherfucker. I'm the most violent lightweight on this planet, and I will prove that. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're gonna find to out. the most violent lightweight I'm gonna find out. Trust me. It's gonna be a march, a march to deep water, baby, and you ain't not gonna laugh. Can I swim in this water? Deep water, don't I don't need to swim. I do all my fighting on land, player. Um, question for Holly. Holly, uh, after your, your fight in Brooklyn, you said you were willing to kind of take whatever the UFC gave you. Was this a fight that you know you specifically wanted, or just that you know they, they offered you and you said yes? I just have been training and trying to get better, and that's it. I've always told them. Whatever comes my way, I just want to make the best of it and 2016 wasn't my best year, and I'm just kind of sucking up at pride with it and learn from all my mistakes, and this is the fight in front of me, and I'm just excited to get in there, and I want to improve. I want to get better, and I feel like I've learned a lot through my last two fights, and you guys are going to see something new. And then I guess for Michael, uh, we kind of heard it, but do you feel a responsibility as sort of a, a gatekeeper of the UFC? With no, I'm not a gatekeeper of the UFC, trust me. I'm here to take yes, he is. I I'm here to win this title, and I'm not here to welcome Welcome guys from the C-League in here, you know, but at the same time, yeah, of course, I'm gonna welcome him into the UFC and um, it's not gonna be a good night for him, hands down, you know. I got two months to get prepared to take somebody's life in this cage. I'm not trying to beat him. I'm not trying to win by a decision or a point. I'm literally gonna try to take this man's life. And if yes, you're not- I and want if, to die. And if, and if you're not ready, and if you're not ready to die, don't show I up. I am ready I'm to die. I'm telling you right man. now, the shit that's breaking, breaking my mind, breaking you in a piece by night, piece, boy. artistically breaking you. I eat my shit piece. whole. I don't fucking take piece by piece. The, the more you talk, night. the bigger the I'm gonna ask you to look on July 7th. Time. That's all I gotta I say. I don't chew out nothing the whole time. I'm gonna fucking eat you up for dinner, boy. Yep. Say nothing yep. for leftovers. Yep. You are. Nothing. Sorry, for it's leftovers. gonna be easy, man. You got the no, easiest fight on easy. this. It won't be the easiest easy. fight. Two months it's are good. gonna be hard. 
But oh, the yeah, last seven good. were very easy. You're good. You're good. You got nothing to worry about then. We're good. We'll see. Hey. Oh, you're good. You're right. You're right. Yeah, here we go. I'm trying to play the reverse psychology shit. I'm too grown for that, man. Come on. A question for, for Cynthia. A couple, a couple months ago, you weren't even going to be on a main card. You were going to fight on the prelims. Uh, now you're a part of all of this. So just talk about what the last couple of months have been for you. Uh, well, it's, it's been an incredible ride, obviously, just going from like not being known from main card to main card and not going to a co-main event. Um, it's been an incredible ride. You know, I'm just embracing it to the fullest. I'm super excited to be here. I believe I belong here, and you guys are all going to you know, start realizing this soon in my up-and-coming fights. You look like, you're having, look like you're having a lot of fun up there today, too, just kind of watching everybody and taking it all in. Dude, it's awesome. I love everything about it. I mean, it's, it's great being up here with all these guys. They're amazing fighters. And then um, just being a part of it is, I you know, I have no words. I'm just excited to be here. And for, for Amanda, I know a couple months ago you talked about you wanted to go fight for the 145-pound title. A couple months ago, you said you wanted to go fight for the 145-pound title next. That's what you wanted your next fight to be. I guess, when did that kind of change, and, and what changed your mind on that? Yeah, I want to go up, for sure. You know? I cleaned this division. I beat this girl already. I beat her already. And I'm going to do it again. And, you know, I want to go up. I think he's supposed to... I have a chance to, to decide what I want to do my next step, you know? And, but... We'll see. After this fight, I will kick her ass again, and UFC is gonna give you opportunity. You know. You have two two months to talk more, and it will be finished soon. Hey, I don't I worry prove about it. this. I proved already. I beat you already. Just talk. Just talk. Keep talking. I beat it you already. I don't talk anything. I beat you already. Everybody see. <laughs> it was very good luck. Very good. Very lucky fight. You don't have enough but to talk about it. This fight I beat time. you. Don't expect nothing. You almost was beaten in the third round, so... I'm a champion for a reason. I will show. How I say keep talking, two What are you more. talking about? Two months Shut more. up. We'll what are you done. talking about? I beat you when I will beat again. Two. Oh, I beat you. I beat you again. I will beat you. And come down. Amanda, Amanda, I guess to kind of follow up on that, you know, there have been the question marks because she, she was successful late against you, so... You know, is this fight, is it kind of personally motivating to, to be able to maybe answer those critics or those questions that say, had she had two more rounds, the result would have been different? <laughs> if this fight would be a five round, I, re, I would be had four, and she's gonna beat me one. It's gonna be the same. If, but this time, if, it's only one thing, if, but we will see it, 8th of July. 8th of July, it will be done. But the fight, the fight supposed to be Three minutes rounds. I be beat the head too. Every I don't time even see what you're talking about. Every time it's a if supposed, it, it's like excuses. What are we gonna it's say? It's only excuses. Okay. You have an excuse because I beat you. I say you, you have two months more to speak and it will be done. What is this girl talking about? What is this girl talking about? She's serious? I will beat you again. All right? She's gonna have one more chance to get her ass kicked. And then, I, pr I will show you guys, I'm the best jumper here, all right? We'll try, we'll try to show it, we'll try. I try not to be showing, right? I think everybody will try, but it it's doesn't guarantee that it will be happen. I don't understand, say it again. It won't be happen, never. Oh. See this? Thanks. For Michael Kiesa, please, if I could. Thank you. Know. you. You got it, thank you. Kevin Lee has been calling out everybody in the division. You know, he just, he, want, he wants somebody. He wants, he said he wants an opportunity to break into the top 10. You know, I know that you wanted top ranked fighters as well. Why were you willing to give this opportunity? Why, why did this fight make sense to you? Uh, Kevin popped up on my radar when he beat Trinaldo. You know, we have common opponents. And uh, when I saw he, he finished Francisco, I, I, was, I, saw, I saw some challenge in it. I mean, aside from that, he just looks like some dork that got kicked out of Woodstock. I don't know why he's disrespecting my mullet. The champion of the world is sitting in front of me. She's got a mullet, so uh, yeah, you know, he's a tough kid, but he's gonna get beat up, so it'll be fun. I ain't even gonna talk no shit. I ain't up here to shit talk, you know, Mike over there. You know, they both shit talking over there. Mike Johnson talking about he gonna kill somebody. He got 30 fights, lost half of them. Ain't killed the motherfucker yet, so 
Uh, you know, I like Mike. I like Kiesa. He's a good guy. Uh, I'm doing him a favor, you know. I'm, 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 I'm going to change his life on June 25th. Uh, by June yeah, I'm going to get another $50,000 bonus, you goop. You know, yeah, whole, you're going to change my whole, life. I'm going to make more money off you. His what are you whole life, about? they've been telling him nothing but hard work and dedication will get him where you want. And uh, it's just not true. It's not going to happen. I'm carrying hey, him, like you know, I'm the one out here knocked horses. out by jujitsu. Uh, Shut the fuck up. It don't matter how many weeks he gets to prepare. He stands no chance. I actually give him respect for taking a fight that he knows that he's not going to, you know, it, his best chance at winning is if I make a stupid mistake. Uh, he make realizes that. It, the only reason he took the fight is because it's an OKC. I'm going to carry him through this car. He's going to headline because of me. After that, he's going back to the prelims. But I just hope uh, he shows up because I know his mama got tickets. So Shut know, the fuck up about, up hey, you can, don't talk road. about my mom for yeah. one. Don't you ever talk about you my know. mom. Don't you ever talk about my fucking mom. Don't you ever talk about my fucking mom. I'm a dad, I wanna get in the middle. Like, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to smack uh, the fuck out of you right now. Don't you ever talk about my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. ever talk yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? Yes! All right, I wanted to, uh, to go to Claudia, if I could, please. I um, wanted to ask you about this fight, because the two of you are obviously top contenders in the division, uh, but you face the champion. And, and so I wonder, are, are you viewing this as a number one contender fight? Is that why you took the fight? Because it's a very tough opponent. And you have Rose Nama Yunus in town as well, who says she thinks she deserves to be the number one contender, regardless of what happens with you guys. What, what do you think about this fight? Rose, she, she, she don't deserve to be the number one contender because she didn't want to fight me. She want to fight Michelle Watterson, and then she want to go to the belt. So I don't think she deserves it. But I think um, this is a great fight for me and, and Carolina. You know, she was the only one that accepted the fight. I wanted to fight so bad, and all the girls kept saying no. So I'm ready for this, ready to throw down June 3rd. And I wanted to ask Carolina the same thing. Of course, top contenders in the division. Are you viewing this as a number one contender fight? Do you think a win gets you another shot at the belt, even if it happens to be Joanna that wins tomorrow night? First, I won't say hi, Dallas. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait for this fight. Uh, Claudia is a really great fighter, uh, and she is one of the best on the world. I always said that I won't fight with the best, and I hope uh, if I win with her, uh, I should be. Um, I I won't fight for title once again. My question is for Joanne. Uh, talk a little bit about the new 125 pound division. Is that something that you have your eyes on in the future? Yeah, I'm a little bit pissed. I took this fight and then the next day I realized that the Twitter and everyone knew about the 125 division except for me. But uh, I've committed to making 115 again and I'm looking forward to the fight. And hopefully in the future I'll go into the 125 division. Because I'm looking at some of these guys and I'm bigger than them. <laughs> I need to move up and wait. <laughs> Especially Chris. <laughs> I'm saying I'm bigger than you. <laughs> 
And your opponent hasn't fought any fighters of your caliber yet. Do you think this is a little bit too much for her right now? No, like everyone in the UFC deserves the chance to fight the best. We, we are the best athletes in the, the MMA world. So uh, I'm looking at her. She's going to be the best opponent that I've faced to, to date. So yeah, hopefully she lives up to it. Just had a follow up for Daniel. Uh, you've just been sitting there the whole time, kind of looking ahead. What, what is going through your mind right now? You don't seem, you don't oh. seem like you're enjoying all this. What's that? I'm just wondering what's going on in your mind right now, because you're just kind of staring off and not smiling or reacting to anything. Well, so like, I'm sitting here and like, I see him, like I see him, he's over there. But like, is he really gonna be, is he really gonna be in Anaheim? Is this guy really gonna go to the fight? Is this, guy gonna, is this guy gonna mess this up again by doing steroids or snorting cocaine or sandblasting prostitutes? What's this guy gonna do? What's this guy gonna do to mess this up this time? Prostitutes. Prostitutes. I beat you after a weekend of cocaine. And prostitutes. <laughs> hey. That, hey, that, wait, I thought, hey, I thought, I thought, I thought that first time was the first time you did cocaine. I had So wait, you no know, way, you had been doing cocaine. I had two. Okay, I get your super I had two great Congratulations. weekends. Congratulations. Back to back weekends. Cocaine won, your ass the next. <laughs> it was great. That's a year, for, that's a, a month for the ages. That's one hell of a weekend for a millionaire druggie. Hey. John, what did you think of Daniel's performance against Anthony Johnson? Excuse me? His performance against Anthony Johnson, the win in Buffalo, you were there. What did you think of You know what, Daniel Cormier has shown me absolutely nothing since our last fight. He has not progressed whatsoever. Hey, Anthony, hey. Anthony Johnson gave him that win. Hey, so wait, so wait. Anthony if Johnson I haven't gave shown him, him anything, at least I've been around to show something. That Where the fuck true. has he been? That, that is true. Where's this guy been? That is true. Where the fuck has he been? That is true. Get out of here judging someone from the sidelines. Go back and sit on the couch in Albuquerque. That is true. That is true. Where the fuck have you been to judge someone? I really feel like Anthony Johnson gave him that win. I saw nothing out of Daniel. I'm really, uh, on the Anderson Silva fight, it was even worse out of Daniel. I'm excited to whoop his ass. Okay, and a uh, question for uh, Betch. Over here, is there a translator for Betch? Is there a translator? Okay. Um, I'm just curious, you said recently that you thought that Holly was a little bit overrated. Could you expand on those comments? Why do you feel that way? Betch, você falou recentemente que uh, você achou que a Holly está é, sendo mais respeito que ela merece. Por que, que você teve esses comentários? Não entendi, tem o quê? Mais respeito? É a respeito dela. Você falou que ela ela está tendo mais respeito que ela merece. Sim, sim. Uh, sim, eu acho que ela foi subestimada. Eu acho que ela teve alguns títulos. É, então as pessoas acham que ela levar esse esse mérito dentro do MMA, mas o MMA é bem diferente. É, ela desempenhou sim boas lutas, mas eu acho que nada que a faça é, colocar no patamar que, que que coloca. Por isso que ela vem de algumas derrotas, às vezes decepcionando algumas pessoas. Mas é, isso é normal quando você é muito superestimado. Ela é uma boa atleta, mas eu acho que não como colocam ela no patamar que, que vem botando, entendeu? Por isso que às vezes ela vem, faz lutas medianas ou então derrota e acaba decepcionando bastante o público e quem pôs expectativa em cima dela. Yes, I, I think she's a good athlete. She's had some success in boxing and kickboxing, but MMA is a different sport. I think she's not that good an athlete as she's made out to be, and that, that's why she's not having had such good success in her last fights. Okay, and just one last quick one for Carolina. I'm just curious, because it's always funny watching you in the midst of all this craziness. Uh, you were next to Connor in New York. What is going through your mind when you see all this back and forth, people punching each other, you have a smile on your face, and you just seem kind of quiet and somewhat angelic up there? Uh, once again? Oh, I was just wondering what you think of all this craziness happening around you, because last time you were sitting next to Connor in New York when he was talking to Jeremy Stevens, you always just kind of seemed to be next to all the craziness. So I was wondering what you think of all of this. 
Oh, for me, this is something amazing. I love to being part of UFC. I uh, uh, met here uh, a lot of uh, great fighters, and for me, this is fun. Rodney James for MMA Latest News. Gosh, I hope I don't incite a brawl on stage here with my questions. I'd like to welcome you all to Dallas, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. My first question is for DC. How you doing, champ? Doing pretty good, man. Thank you. Are we still calling him champ now that I'm back? We're, we're still calling you the GOAT, John Jones. I'll get to you in just a minute, sir. However, Daniel Cormier, by all accounts, is the champion. You seem very confident, as well you should be. He has the belt. He's not the champion. Just a moment, sir. Who, who are there you with to him? say? Hey, who is John? John, who are you to say? Who are you to say who's the champion? You're some guy that doesn't even fight. You're damn near retired, son. You're barely coming back. How are you going to tell somebody something? You're a retired man. Shut your ass up. Let the guy ask his question. Proceed, sir. Like I said, I hope I'm in, in, in <laughs> Proceed, sir. Here. So, DC, obviously, you know this man very well. You've been in there with him. You've obviously watched a lot of tapes since then. What kind of weaknesses do you see in his game? Because, quite frankly, there aren't very many. What weaknesses do you see that you can exploit? And how do you prepare for a guy like him? Well, I mean, I've got, I've got five rounds of us fighting to prepare for him. Things what I should not do again, things that I've done the first time that may work again. There's a lot of different things I can do. I don't look at anybody as if they don't have any weaknesses. There are weaknesses. There are a lot of weaknesses, and um, I'll go find them. Thank you. Johnny Bones Jones. What's up, man? How you doing? Doing good. Very good to see you here today, sir. How have you, uh, how have you been handling this off time, and how are you feeling right now? Off time's been great. I've uh, just been relaxing, doing a lot of jujitsu, working on you know my martial arts skills, and uh, I'm just glad to be back. I'm glad to be here in Texas. Right, thanks a lot. 